the majestic Hudson Valley of New York, a land full of history and tradition. Long ago, this area was once the frontier, an area inhabited by Native Americans and European woodsmen. These were people who lived off the land, hunted the woods, and fished the lakes, rivers, and streams. That spirit is kept alive today by a man who has made a name for himself by building some of the best hunting bows in America. His bows are handcrafted with a love and attention to detail that only a master of his craft can achieve. To a master boyer like him, each bow is special. No two are the same. Each bow will embody its owner's spirit. It will become an extension of them. It is the bow the archer will trust on the hunt, the range, or even in his backyard. A true master craftsman knows performance means nothing if the bow shoots poorly. His eagle was designed to be smooth and peak at just the right spot, thus ensuring smooth and consistent performance while avoiding the dreaded stack. The attention to detail didn't end there. It continues in the grip with its perfectly sized thumb rest. This bow fits in your hand like only a custom bow can. It is that fit, that feel, that smoothness and performance that will give you the confidence needed to make even the hardest shots under the most stressful of conditions. We spoke about the bow, but who is that man? That man is Frank San Marco, and for the past 50 years, he has been building a legacy of excellence. A hunter's bow. To the hunter, his bow is more than a simple tool for the chase. As he stalks the forest for his quarry, he carries in his hand a dear friend. He has chosen his weapon with great care and confidence for its intended mission. He would ask of it, to honor the sacred life of his prey, to send the arrow straight in its flight to the intended mark, to do its work with grace and efficiency. The bow he has chosen is indeed a reflection of his own essential character. His bow carries the pure attributes he believes in and cherishes. It is a fully a part of him, and he a part of it. His trust and faith in his weapon is deep and unwavering. He knows when he draws and releases its string, it will listen to him. His bow is far more than a simple tool. It is indeed a trusted friend and faithful companion on his journey 